So,、uh, as a neuroscientist, I teach、uh, classes in universities, and、um, although, well, when, you know, it's not for everybody, but whenever I meet somebody who would like to study for a PhD in、uh, cognitive neuroscience, I always recommend this book, Principles of Neuroscience, which is a wonderful book, it,、uh, edited by Eric k a n d e l and other people. And this is a really comprehensive introduction to. This really important field of the science of the brain function and brain biology. And, you know, so as an expert, of course, I, you know, more or less know what's inside. But, you know, this is the sixth edition and it、uh, came out、uh, last year, I think. But it, it is really wonderful to, you know, browse, browse these pages and、uh, remind me of the fact that the brain is a biological organ. You know, I took my PhD in the physics department and I was a physicist originally. And, you know, there are many people around、uh, who would approach the problem of consciousness from a theoretical point of view by using statistical methods and,、uh, you know, mathematical models such as the connection model、uh, in which you represent the neural states、uh, in terms of zeros and ones. and Uh, you describe the synaptic connections, WIJ, and you know, all these、uh, wonderful theoretical、uh, models are, of course,、uh, useful in understanding some aspects of brain function. But at the end of the day, the brain is a biological organ, and it is here to, so that we could live better. So, you know, I feel sometimes that these toy models or these Conceptualized、uh, representations of the brain function actually do not、uh, do justice to what the brains are in reality. The brains are a chunk of、uh, neurons, and the neurons are you know, systems, incredibly complex systems, in which there are molecular processes going on with lots of neurotransmitters and microtubules and kinesins and dynins and, you know. Organelles and all these wonderful、um, you know, molecular machines、uh, at work at the same time. And you know, the, why the, the, you know, the whole reason why the brain is here is to help us live a better life,、uh, help us survive in this complex environment. And you know, in order to you know, never lose touch with that kind of biological basis, I think、uh, as a reminder,、uh, Keeping this wonderful volume on your side and you know, browsing、uh, the pages from time to time, and you know, to remind yourself of all these wonderful details of the biological processes that go s on in this wonderful organ that is our brain would be really helpful. Um, you know, without you know, doing that kind of、uh, reminder exercise, if you like, of、uh, the Biological basis of the brain function. We sometimes, you know, get astray and we、uh, go into the maze or labyrinth of,、uh, you know,、uh, abstract、uh, representations of the brain system,、um, which might actually be really persuasive、uh, in some circles, but would probably not lead to the ultimate model of consciousness. Because consciousness is a biological phenomenon. Consciousness is a biological phenomenon. We should never forget that. So, this volume is a really wonderful、uh, anchor, if you like,、uh, for us to、uh, you know, be always in touch with the great ocean of、uh, biological sciences, which actually serves as the foundation for the neural sciences and the science of consciousness. Principles of Neuron Science, a really wonderful book.